Hi, Lori. Hi. I saw um, you at the Pentagon today. <laughs> the one following up uh, with the, an issue that came, I uh, was raised at the Pentagon. Okay. It has to do with serious use of chemical weapons in Idlib, possible use. And specifically, um, Secretary Mattis said this morning that you were in regular contact with Russia on this issue. Can you explain both your concerns and what the situation is, particularly with the Russians? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think uh, DOD uh, did a terrific job of laying out a lot of the issues there. So I, I would largely echo what the Department of Defense said and encourage anyone who's not taken a look at that transcript to please take a look at that. Um, I can tell you that the Secretary spoke with Foreign Minister Lavrov last week. Uh, we made it very clear, the Secretary made it clear that any Russian uh, regime offensive on Idlib and an escalation. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any Russian and or Syrian regime offense offensive on Idlib and any kind of an escalation uh, in that area, we would hold them responsible and we would hold them accountable for that, especially uh, most especially for the use of chemical weapons. Uh, the United States has taken a very strong stance in the past uh, when chemical weapons have been used. Uh, you all know that very well. Uh, we have engaged the Russian government and also the military at the most senior level. Uh, Ambassador Bolton has uh, spoken to his Russian counterparts, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Uh, chairman Dunford has as well spoken with his Russian counterparts to make it very clear that the United States government and its partners would respond to any verified chemical weapons use in Idlib or elsewhere in Syria, for that matter, in a swift and appropriate manner. So we would encourage Russia to make this point very clear to Damascus that that uh, will not be tolerated. Thank, thank you. And a follow up. Mm -hmm. The Syrian and Iranian defense ministers just signed a new defense cooperation agreement. How do you view that? Yeah, uh, we, we saw that. Uh, as certainly, uh, Iran has continued its destabilizing activities around the globe, and I think this would be a primary example of that.